thousands of human beings. It's been active since 1967, when the Australian people were told it was a research base to investigate upper atmosphere meteorological effects. And people believed that. And then we were told it was a more nebulous space research facility. That was in 1967 when it was gazetted by then Defence Minister Alan Fairhall, who is no longer with us, to explain his action. We now know, due to the work of many dedicated people, dedicated truth seekers, just what this base does do. In the official literature, what the people of Australia are prepared, are allowed, sorry, to be told, this is a ground receiving station for several networks of satellite uh, intelligence collection vehicles. So that when you use your mobile phone anywhere in East Asia or the Middle East, this is the base that will electronically monitor your conversation. We know that this base is used in the provision of targeting information for the war in Iraq. When the shock and awe campaign of bombing which Donna was present for was taking place, it was information from this base they used to, to coordinate the targets into the so-called smart missiles and bombs. Recently in July and August this year when Israel invaded Lebanon and launched its attacks upon the civilian populations, remember they told us that they weren't bombing civilians, they were bombing terrorists who lived among civilians, and they were bombing rocket launch sites. This is the base that identified those rocket launch sites and sent the Israeli, Israeli bombs and missiles into those civilian populations. I guess when I come here, this is the first time in a while we've been allowed to come here. We were initially excluded from within two kilometres of Pine Gap and we won an application in the Supreme Court to be able to come here to the front gate to make our political point. And every time I look at this facility I think that this facility exemplifies corruption and it exemplifies the work of Satan, the Prince of Lies. Because this base possesses some of the most up-to-date technology in the world. Technology which could be used to verify arms control and bring about disarmament. Technology which could be used to minimise natural disasters and the effects of natural disasters. Technology which could be used to assist every human being on this planet to have the opportunity to realise their full potential. And it is criminal and criminally insane that it is used instead to kill and to exploit. And I know that all of you here join me in the wish that this base be transformed. And the first act of transformation today, we're going to change this sign. So that instead of telling people that trespassing is prohibited, it is going to declare to the world just what this base really is. The heroic fight with us. The honest support us. The corrupt fear us. For we are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forget. We do not forgive. Expect us to expose you. That has killed hundreds of thousands of human beings. It's been active since 1967 
when the Australian people were told it was a research base to investigate upper atmosphere meteorological effects. And people believed that. And then we were told it was a more nebulous space research facility. That was in 1967 when it was gazetted by then Defence Minister Alan Fairhall, who is no longer with us, to explain his actions. 